The average stay in hospital after transplant is four weeks. However, this is variable. Before you can go home, we will make sure that you and or your caregiver have learned about your medications and know how to contact us. A heart transplant is a major life change and there are a number of things a transplant patient needs to learn to live with. You will leave hospital taking at least eight or more medications. Some of these include immunosuppression, anti-rejection medications. You will be taking these medications for the rest of your life. They protect your new heart from being attacked by your immune system. Please check with us whenever another physician prescribes new medications as some interactions can cause serious harmful effects. Only your transplant team is allowed to make changes to your immunosuppressant medications. The other important thing is only the heart transplant team here in Hereford should be allowed to change the doses of these medications because there can be drug interactions which can cause serious harmful side effects and because it's important that we maintain certain levels of these drugs within your blood. Approximately 1 in 10 patients are treated for rejection in the first year after heart transplant. For this reason, routine biopsies are scheduled at set time intervals for the first year. At Harefield, you can expect to have between 3 to 6 heart biopsies in the first 6 months of your heart transplantation. You'll be awake for the procedure and you will be given plenty of local anaesthetic to prevent pain. A small tube is put into a big vein in your neck or groin. Under x-ray guidance, three small samples are taken from your heart and sent to the pathologist. The biopsy takes around 20 minutes to complete. It is normally done as a day case procedure and you will be able to go home after a short period of monitoring. The anaesthesia should protect you from experiencing any pain. If you do feel pain, just let the doctor know and we'll give you more local anaesthetic. If you're anxious or agitated, then we can give you some sedatives just to help relax you during the procedure, but most patients manage to get through it without any of that. Light exercise is encouraged. You will be referred to a cardiac rehabilitation program. Until your breastbone is fully healed, you should not lift heavy objects. This will take approximately three to four months. Avoid foods that increase risk of infection, such as mayonnaise, shellfish, unpasteurized milk and cheese, raw or partially cooked meats and raw eggs. Many people who have had a transplant can return to a normal sex life. Wait for your surgical wounds to fully heal and allow a few more weeks to build up your strength. You should use an effective contraceptive method and not consider pregnancy, especially in the first two years after your transplant. Some of your medications can cause birth defects. If you wish to conceive a child, notify your heart transplant team so you can be properly counselled by a specialist. Speak to your transplant team about travel plans well in advance. We recommend avoiding international travel for at least a year after your transplant. Keep your pets healthy, always wash your hands after contact with them and don't allow them to lick your face. We also strongly advise against you changing cat litter trays. Cats carry toxoplasmosis, an infection which can affect immunosuppressed patients. Talk to your healthcare team before you resume driving or going back to work. We generally recommend not driving until after the first 6 to 12 weeks. Do not use public swimming pools in the first year. Use sun protection factor SPF 25 or higher in summer and SPF 15 in winter to reduce the risk of skin cancer. Don't hesitate to seek the support of your healthcare team after your transplant as you figure out how to resume your life and regular activities. Heart transplantation isn't without its downsides too. Most of these problems happen either because of rejection or because of side effects from the heart transplant medicines you take. For example, kidney failure, diabetes, the steroids that you have to take cause osteoporosis or thinning of the bone. In terms of survival, the average survival is around 12 and a half years. That includes everybody who's had a heart transplant. But if you survive the first year of heart transplant, then the average survival is between 14 to 15 years. 